hey guys this is the look that i'm going to show you guys how to recreate this is my summer and beach look obviously i am in a robe i am not in beach attire summer attire but i'm getting ready so this is the look that i do it does not budge you could go literally to the pool to the beach you could go jet skiing you could do whatever you want in the summer or you don't even have to go to the pool you could just be walking around and melt in florida because florida is disgusting so you could do that and this will not budge i love this this is my go-to summer look i do this like almost every day so this is my favorite and i hope you guys enjoy it I already have my foundation on, but what I do, make sure that when you put your foundation on, you're using your primer, okay, with that has SPF 15. So you're gonna wash your face, put your SPF on, your day, your day moisturizer, which has SPF 35. You're gonna follow up with the primer, which has SPF 15. Then you're gonna put on um, your foundation of choice. You could use the CC creams, you could use whatever. I like, this is my favorite foundation. So I always use our matte wear liquid foundation because I like it, it feels good. Um, so I already had foundation on. I worked out this morning, I sweated, and it still looks good, so I'm not gonna touch it. So now we're gonna get our eye primer, which is awesome, and we're gonna pump that onto our um, ring fingers. I like to touch my eye with my ring finger, and you're just gonna put that all over your eye area. Um, you don't have to worry about getting it around. Just go ahead and smudge it out and make sure you blend it out. This is gonna make a really big difference when you apply our cream eyeshadow. So now we're gonna grab our cream eyeshadow in Beach Blonde, and we're gonna put this again all over our eyes. The awesome thing about our cream shadows is that they do have um, also more built-in eye primer, so it's gonna help with making it crease resistant, which is so great, especially for wearing it all day at the beach. So it's gonna help it not budge, it's really just gonna be waterproof basically on your face. Then you're gonna grab the uh, color in iced cocoa, and you're gonna put that in the outer corner of your eye and kind of just do the crease color the one thing i forgot to mention is that i am using our cream eye color slash concealer brush this look is super similar to dash out the door the only difference is that um you're putting more things to like set your face so that's really the only difference when I go to the beach, I like to have a really glowy finish. So if you still have your old foundation brush, this is our new foundation brush. It's awesome. It gives you like this really pretty airbrush finish. I use this all over my face. But if you still have your old foundation brush, um, you could just use our normal bronzer. I'm going to be using a little bit of both, but I like to get a really dark cream to powder. Um, I'm using beige 6. Honestly, there's no reason I'm using this color. I just pulled it out and so I get some cream to powder and I go like this so basically what you want to do is kind of just make like an E on your face so you're gonna make a fishy face and put it into the hollow part and you're gonna kind of make an E you're gonna do your jawline go up to your forehead and then you're just gonna go and continue to blend it through with that brush um, so then I always go in with this my foundation brush which should still have some um, like with residue foundation and I just buff my face out with it this is gonna help blend everything see so like you don't even have that sharp line anymore but it really accentuates your cheek like you see it so I love this I love this um, technique so you're really just going to blend it out with your foundation brush and then you always want to get your jawline so it doesn't look funky. I really like doing my under eyes as well as you can see and I kind of just like blend out my cream eyeshadow so that it looks really nice and clean. So next you're going to get your blush brush which is awesome. It's so great. It's like this really cool shape so you could do all different things with it. You could put blush on and contour. But you're going to pick up that blush color which is called Shy Blush. You're going to tap on that brush to get rid of excess fallout. And you're really just going to apply it on the apples of your cheeks. Now we're going to put our eyebrows. So we're going to fill in our eyebrows with our brow pencil which is really easy. You kind of just like trace over your brows. It's honestly you can't mess it up either and our eyebrow pencil is really creamy so then you're gonna grab this spoolie brush and just kind of like soften the look so that they look really natural and of course we're going to add eyeliner so I only put it on my outer corner and I am using it in brown as always but I rub my eyes a lot so I try not to go too in to my eye that way it doesn't smudge god forbid while I'm at the pool yeah this is my favorite mascara 
I love all our mascaras and I know a lot of you guys are addicted to the ultimate mascara but this is my favorite it's waterproof and it's a total total must when you go to the beach or when you're having like a beach day or pool day water and there's kids jumping in the pool which is like the worst because then when kids splash on you they splash on your face and they splash in your cup of like wine which is never fun because wine never ever tastes good with chlorine in it but whatever um but this stuff's awesome it's really gonna make a big difference on your lashes so you're just gonna put this all over your lashes guys and i just want to show you really quick if you do not want to use the cream to powder to contour your face i really like the cream to powder i think it stays really well compared to just the powder um you could use the powder and that would be the powder um so we're gonna jump from that and we're gonna set our face with two things first is the translucent powder this is the loose translucent powder so out of our new um brush kit you're gonna use the all over powder brush which is this one and it says it like you guys can't mess this up it literally says all over powder brush you're gonna use this it's the fluffy one the really big fluffy one you're gonna get this you're gonna open your translucent powder and spin it to unlock it so it spins it has this little thing that you could stick the brush in to spin it so you get your fingers dirty you're gonna put the lid on i don't twist it i turn it around i tap on it and then i open it and I have a really nice amount of product on the lid. That's enough for your face. So you get some on your brush. This brush is baby all over your face. So when you put your translucent powder, you do not have to dust it off like you do for your blush. You just literally get it everywhere on your face. You won't mess up. Okay, so once you do that, you see that it does nothing. It's translucent, it's, it's see-through. You're gonna get your makeup finishing spray and you're gonna shake it and you're gonna do an X on your face and a T. Want you could seal up your powder. So you seal your powder, you close it, and you could literally toss these two things in your purse and go. That way if you tend to get shiny throughout the day or you feel like just sweaty and like you need to like blot your face, you could use our oil blotters and then you could put some more of this on your face. It's gonna help matte it out and just make it look fresh. Um, but this stays on my face like literally all day. Here you go guys, that's finished look i'm sorry that this video is not high quality as it usually is my gopro died on me it like it just died like yeah no battery and it takes way too long to charge it and i didn't want to do that for you guys so um i had to use my phone but this is the finished look and it's really easy so i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you replicate this for the beach when you go to the pool because i love it it stays on my face helps me look really good um and just look fresh the whole day which i definitely enjoy and it gives you a bit of a glow and color so i like it and you always want to make sure that if you don't have a good foundation color you ask me and i'll match you because you'll look good and you won't look like you're wearing like you know a mask on your face which is always the worst so this is the finished product i hope you guys liked it